Hi there, I'm makeup artist Daniel Sandler and I've got no makeup on right now because what I'm going to share with you is how I create more of a glow by adding some of my watercolour liquid cheek colour in the shade Elegance to liquid foundation. To show you the difference of what it looks like by adding some of my Elegance to foundation, I'm going to make up half my face without Elegance and then apply this side with. So here we go, I've got some on the back of my hand. This is without any elegance in it. And this, as I say, is just a liquid foundation that is a natural coverage, buildable. You couldn't do this with a powder foundation, but you could do it with a cream foundation. Okay, so that is still dewy fresh. I like skin to look like skin and a bit moist. So there we go, that's one layer of foundation. Now I've got a little bit more foundation on the back of my hand, and all I'm gonna do is shake the watercolor with the, with the cap on, obviously and then add a few drops, there we go, to it, mix it together, and add it on to my brush and just quickly, quickly. You can see the difference already, can't you? That is nice, that's kind of glowy, but that has a wonderful, wonderful sheen to it, I can already see it. Now don't be afraid if you're someone who hates sparkle because these are illuminating particles. These are not shimmery, big glittery particles. So you are getting a glow to your foundation because there are days when you just want to add a little bit of something because you think your skin is looking a little bit dry, a little bit lacklustre. So try this little tip, it should really work for you. Just going to apply a little bit more, there's some more foundation, there's some more, that's three drops. Mix it on the back of my hand and then add it here. Obviously, I'm building up the coverage. So as you can see, after building up the desired coverage, my skin is looking, obviously it's got no powder on it and I have got light, but you should still be able to see the nice glow and imagine as I turn my head how nice and glowy skin will look without looking sweaty. Because it's not about sweat, it's about glow and radiance. What I'm gonna do is actually apply a little bit more. At this point, a couple of dots onto the highest part of the cheekbone. This is really using watercolour as it was intended, but I love how you can add it to base. Let's just do a little bit of this with fingers. Fingers are always good. Before I put on some concealer. I do find that fingers really helps to blend makeup, doesn't it, really? It's the warmth of the finger. Another lovely trick that I like to do with elegance is, that's the noise of me picking up a brush, is pop a little bit onto my brush. A little bit more. 
gone. There we go, a little bit more. That looks great with a nude lip pencil or some lip balm and then a lovely nude. Slightly mother of, not mother of pearl, but sort of There we go, there's a nice pinky sort of shimmery eyeshadow. So lots of uses for watercolour and elegance. All I need to do now is give myself a little powder. Now, powder is important because you don't want to completely dull, do you? That lovely finish you've got. I've got lights on, so I look more sort of sheeny than I would in daylight, because the lights I'm using are really bright and highly reflective. But of course, you need to tone down your T-zone, jawline, my big old chin, my big old nose. But you know what? That sheen and glow, just a little bit here, because again, I don't want to dull it. Just a little bit there. And under my eyes, the powder I'm using is my well used and well loved Invisible Veil Blotting Powder. Absolutely brilliant powder goes brilliantly under eyes, doesn't enhance fine lines because I don't want to be shiny too much under there because it will like make it look baggier and saggier and a bit more sort of, um, I don't know, adds a few pounds to eyes if you're too shiny under there makes you look more bloated than you is already. There we go, shall I stop that? So as you can see, I've kind of powdered a little bit. Now I've added some, just some mascara and I've filled in my brows. I've already got some elegance on my lips and I'm just gonna pop on clear gloss. Like that, and finishing touch. I have to just grab one of my other watercolors. This is one of my shades called Eternal, and I'm gonna apply this one with my finger. So shake the bottle. golden -y, huh? Really nice. One dot there, one dot there. And this is really going to enhance and add a little bit of warmth and just give that nice added. See, it looks quite dark, doesn't it? But do not be afraid. I'm just blending it. There's no powder on this area. Really lovely color, love this one. Quite a new shade from me. There we go. That's using some foundation, some concealer, but adding some of my Elegance Illuminator to the foundation to get that glow. And then I've just popped a little bit of another shade on top, and that one was called Eternal. And I've got uh, Elegance on my lips and clear gloss. Natural, hope you like the look. Thank you so much for watching and you can shop all those lovely colours on danielsandler.com. Thank you. Bye bye.